Hi guys, Tugri here with a new video and this video will be my UI PvP video for Dragonflight. They did change the UI, the system how you can change things on the UI. Uh, some people think it's better, some people think it's bad and they wanted a classic button. But uh, it's not going to happen maybe in the future. But I'm here to actually make it and facilitate for you guys to change your, your UI at your own style and at your own leisure. Um, you can copy my UI as well in the description below. I will share the uh, import so you can import it if you so desire or else you just watch the video and learn by yourself how you can change it to your own taste. I'm also going to talk about add-ins and what I'm using for arenas and also for RBGs. But um, okay, I'm going to show you guys the whole screen. So I'm going to hide myself. Okay, I'm gone. And now let's talk now more briefly on what we can do to improve the UI. So most people that are going to log in for the first time in Dragonflight are probably on the modern preset. So this is the UI that you will have if you're coming back to Arena to uh, World of Warcraft. You will have three bars like this. And even those two bars will be gone. And you might as well just add more bars by going in-game in the game tab, action bars, and you can put more action bars on the screen if you so desire. All right, so how do we change the layout? How do you want it to be? I'm going to show you guys what I did to make it more pleasing for myself, but also in general, uh, more visually interesting in Arena because for me, like that little bar on the left with my, my own head and my health bar is not big enough for myself. Uh, I, I will get lost. I will not see my health being low and I will play probably worse because I wouldn't know if I will die or not. So I'll go for edit and now we can edit everything. So what you, what, what you can do is go right click on your own portrait and then go on other options, edit mode, but you can also go for uh, edit mode from the game menu by typing escape. So you do escape, you get edit mode, and you could do that as well. Now you get layout. So you have the classic preset. This is my, those are mine. But uh, you can make as much as you want. You can do one for BGs, one for arenas, one for PvE, one for leveling, one for raid, etc. etc. You can also do one for RP if you so desire. Um, so you have two presets. You have the classic and the modern. Classic is you have those health bars at the top. And the modern ones are at the bottom. So really it doesn't matter uh, which one it is. But everything is movable. So uh, from the moment we are actually uh, editing, you will get frames or whatever you can to actually improve, like be making bigger or not. Uh, for now, we're go going to keep it at 100%. And we're going to right away, since it's arenas, we're going to click on the left side. Of course, there are add-ons that you can also use to have your own party frames, but I use the raid style party frames for arenas and BGs as well. Uh, for RBGs, uh, it's different because I have an add-on that gives me all the classes at just one look of the eye. But here, use raid style party frames and you get like raid style party frames. And what I do is I try to make it a bit wider, a bit higher, so we have like better outlook on the health of our friends and then we put the um we don't do display or border because it becomes just bigger it's useless to me and we go for the hor the vertical not the horizontal so we keep it like this and for the arena frames i'll make it as small as i can because i do use a external party uh, add-on to actually use it for my arenas arena frames so you have even the uh, battleground uh, RBG frames that you can use for arenas. You can use S Arena or you can even use Gladius. Uh, for some reason, I can't remove it, so I'll keep it as low as like as little as possible and put it on the side because I don't really care about that information. I'm going to show you guys which add-ons we are using for the arena frames. So we put it at 100%. I wish it could be even lower, but for now. It is not possible. You have the objective tracker. You could make it also as low as possible. If you're doing arenas, it doesn't really matter if it's actually on your screen or not. So you could put it on 400 and make it on the left or right side. And you put like, again, you can just save it. We're going to save a video purpose. 
I'm going to save. You can also do a character specific layout. So you can like press it and then for the character itself, um, even if you change the specs, it will stay like this. Um, but since we're doing this for the video, I'm not going to put it a character specific layout. But if you change it to Frost and you have this toggled, at least you will not change uh, even whenever you are changing specs. So we're saving it. I'm going to show you guys here you have a little tab. I will, I'll just do like this and we'll hide it at the right side, right? So we're going for the edit mode again, put it on the right side and whenever we are going to save it, it is going to be hidden. But it's always for arenas, right? You can do it for leveling, you can do it for RBGs, PGs, whatever, but at least it will be hidden and it will not ca catch your eye whenever you are actually doing arenas. So what I always do is I try to center my, uh, on the left side, my party frames, because I'd like it to be close to the eye, especially if I'm playing a healer, I like it to be super close so I can have the most information possible co concerning with my team. So we're going to save it. And what we are going to do is we are going to go to the options. We go for interface. We are going to scroll beneath and we are going to display incoming heals, display power bars, display class colors, display pets. And I'll also go for show debuffs with health remaining. Then you will always see, okay, my ally has 100k health. It can survive, or whenever you see it at 20k health, you know that you're going to have to panic. Of course, this is for Shadowlands health bars. A 100k is nothing in Dragonflight, right? It's one fourth of your health, so you should panic as well at 100k health. Anyways, we go for edit mode, and we're going to go back into the trying to purpose everything into one coherent thing. What I do is I try to always center the we do grids because then it's easier to know if it's we are doing it symmetrical or not we're trying to actually put it a bit more center because i like us to have visual um not like fish eyes where i have to look left and right for some reason i prefer to not have that so what i'm going to do is i'm going to put it more center and i'm going to make it as big as i can without make it to uh making it too uh overbearing for the eye right so i'm going to put it at 150 percent so if i'm going to save it let's test it out so i'm playing i see my frame so if i'm hitting yeah it's all right i see my rune power i see my runes everything is all right and if i'm dropping like health wise at least I can see and I can react to it. I'm going to do the same for the enemy frames. So I'm going to do. I'm going to try to make it as symmetrical as possible. Also, 150% health. I'm going to put it like this. I'm going to put it like that, and it should be very symmetrical. If I am not mistaken, uh, at least it doesn't need to be perfect, right? But uh, it's always better whenever it is. Because it's better for the eye as well. I'm going to put it a bit more like this, I guess, if I can. Something like this. And you could do the buffs are on top or the buffs are beneath. I think it's better to have beneath. But uh, again, it depends on everyone if they are playing with or without it. Also, I need to put it like this. It's better. All right. So we, whenever we save, look at this. It's very clear, at least whenever I'm going to hit, I'll have the debuffs on, on the target with big debuffs, but also with uh, the debuffs beneath makes it also a li little bit easier to watch what is happening on the screen. So that's the big thing. Now, we're going to change the cast bars because I'm not playing a caster, but I know if I'm doing a cast, like let's say this, it's very small. I don't like having small cast bars, so what I'm doing is I'm going to edit it, I'm going to make it bigger and bigger and bigger at 150%, make it a bit like this, and it should be good to go. So at least it's a bit bigger, makes it a bit easier to know whenever my casts are finished, and you can also probably find another one to make it more like classic. Uh, you have classic cast bars, I think. If you do play classic, at least it doesn't really change a lot for you. 
and you can enjoy the UI however you so desire. So this is what I like, at least like taskbar wise. It's it's good. It's big. You know what you're casting, and everything is good to go. All right. Now I don't like the actual bars. I don't like it. I like it to not have the the little icons here, like the the, the padding. It's it's really annoying. So I prefer to hide bar art and bar scrolling. I try to put it also like classic. So I prefer it to be like this with the bars more or less more on the horizontal and not like too big i like also to have more rows on the right side so i like to have two rows i'll put it like this and we are good to go we have like all the things that i need to actually put the abilities however i like and i think it is also pleasing for the eye it's um, more simple at least everything is at the right place and if you are playing classic it resembles as classic right uh, classic is more on the horizontal you have like the bags more centered but now at least if you played shadowlands it was like this so you have your um yeah i have all my i would say key binds on the same places so if i'm needing to look at my cast bars at least i know where i'm looking like previously my shift a was not on the same place as on other games or on the other uh, versions of the games and it is very unsettling especially if you're learning a new class or new spec or a new build and you have the same key binds but not on the same places it's annoying to actually give a place to those key binds like for example for me shift a is really an aggressive cooldown like for example now i'm playing blood of course but dancing rune weapon is a aggressive cooldown and uh, shift a e is more about a, a defensive cd shift r is a special cd that you can use shift f also a special cd to use i, I will always have my mount at uh, middle mouse for example and uh and so on and so on and so on so i prefer uh, it's a bit I would say autistic uh, to have always the same spells or at least the same effects on the same places but i do like it like it's my ocd i prefer to to actually play around that and uh enjoy the, the way I, I play the game with all my characters on the same um i would say places the same the same pace the same feel i would say so this is pretty much the the uh editing what i'm doing like so the only editing i'm doing here the debuffs you can do it a bit more uh vertical if you so desire for some reason you would do that but i prefer horizontal horizontal you can do it as like big as you want i like it to be a bit big so i know what's happening to myself uh, i can do more padding less padding i can limit uh, like this like something where I can, I can have everything just like close to themselves and uh, it feels good it feels good and the same for buffs really I prefer to not have a lot of padding the icon sizes can be a bit sl like smaller because again um, depending on your comps you don't have a lot of buffs the icon limits prefer to have like around 10 something like that um, not 10 excuse me will be 12 think 12 is better but um yeah pretty much this is not really super important if you don't really like the grid you can also remove it if you don't like the snap i don't know what snap is really but anyways i always have it toggled and uh you have a pet bar here you can put the pet bar a bit um more above the cost bars i guess you can do that like that so if you have a ghoul or a pet at least you have a pet bar here um extra abilities you have everything you can toggle and just try and play around right uh stance bar if you are like a warrior should be on the same like in, at the same place i would say as the pet bar and the boss frames if you are doing pve hud tooltip and whatever you can do to actually improve your ui in game and make it as much enjoyable as you can 
Now, the most important thing you should know is for arena frames, I would suggest to go for external party add-ons, so nothing about Blizzard, Battleground enemies and Gladius. Battleground enemies is more or less something I'm using for RBGs, so that's why I'm disabling it in arenas. So you see enemies arena, it's disabled, and allies arena it's also disabled you could just enable it for allies if you prefer it instead of uh, raid party frames or the same for enemies you could just enable it and uh, you will have the battleground enemies um, uh, party frames if you so desire you can play with gladius and uh, gladius is probably the best one for me because i do enjoy to play with gladius i played it also with um on classic so i'm very very in habit with uh, that add-on i really like it and it's very simple to test you just type gladius test you get it here and you can just move it and you can just do gladius ui to uh, modify the, the 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 layout so you could do the uh, health bars a bit bigger for example or you can move it like this a bar width you can do the frame scale, you can be, make it as big as you want. But really, uh, I, I like it how it is with my uh, wall lock. So pretty much like this. And uh, it will be very close to um, the health bars from the enemy. But I like it because then I have every info that I need from this. And remember, Arena 3v3, uh, you only see the first three names. You don't see the fourth and the fifth. So it's high enough to not interfere with the enemy frames, but also just in general, it will be simple to know what's going on. And you have the DRs on the left side, on the right side, you have the trinkets, and you also have the targets from them. So if the rogue is targeting the, the, the retribution party in your team, for example, you'll know that he's targeting uh, your red. So it's very simple, very, very easy to use. And I very, very much like it. And um, I like it how it is right now. I just really would like to see them being able to remove things. Like, for example, here, a button where I can disable the arena frames with just one click. That would be fantastic, but I don't know if they are actually uh, going to do that or not. But pretty much this is actually how I would do the arena frames. And you could do that as well for the BG frames if you want. You can do... Uh, different frames for different uh, purposes and then just make it a layout so you can change it and make it as good as possible so yeah if you are done with the editing of your hud very simple you just put it as new layout and you write it down like for example uh, arena's video since i want to be sure it's this one and you only can have five accounts okay so i'm going to delete one i'm gonna delete it so i'm gonna do delete it and then i'm going to do a new layout arena video save and now you have the layout for arena video and you can just see the difference how it is you can make arena video you can make arena bgs raids dungeon whatever and what i'm going to do is i'm going to share it so i'm going to Post it on the description below and you will have everything you need with just one click. And if you want to import, you can just type, press on import, write the text down. You can name the layout. So if you want to say arenas, you can also put it character specific layout. So it means that if you change specs, it will not change the layout and it will make it a lot easier uh, to, to enjoy your time in arenas. So. I hope this video helped you guys with uh, everything related to arenas, to UI, to the settings, and I hope it helped you. Please let me know in the comment section below what you think about the video. Let me know if you learned something. Let me know what you think about the UI that uh, Dragonflight actually made, uh, since really it is a feature. It was a big feature whenever Dragonflight was actually announced. And I'm actually very happy how it is. I just wish that you could remove a lot of things by just clicking it away. But I hope they made makes a, a bit of like changes in the future to actually make it 
more enjoyable to work around so thank you for watching this video i really appreciate you again be sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't done that yet and be sure to stay safe we will catch each other very soon with a new video bye